I like to think that what we do here and what I do is you can say passion, passion, passion all you want, but you need more than passion. What you need is commitment, understanding, and basically education. With those three things, you can make whatever you want. I like to think that I've been doing this since 93, that I have the canvas down of what makes a bike solid, what is correct geometries, what works the best, what is efficient, and what is hocus pocus. There's a lot of hocus pocus stuff out there, and when I say it, people don't like it, but it is. I can back up my opinions. That being said, I like to take people with special needs. Anyone from the lady I made a bike who was four foot six, 80 pounds, to a guy who was six foot seven, 480. And I can do anything in between. When you're a custom builder, you can do anything you want, but you have to open the doors to different construction methods and almost different materials. Steel can do it all, but there's other things that can be done better in the place. Now, speaking of custom builders and what they do, we're all custom, but I like to think that what we do here at Peacock Group is deep custom. We take in a customer, a client, and I say, what do you need? They tell me their needs, and then I look at them and say, now what do you want? So what we do is we take the bike frame as a canvas. We make that, the actual mechanical part of it, what works, what's solid. And then we paint it like a can of beer. We put flashing blue dice on it, or we paint disc wheels with questionable arts. Well, I was going to ask you about that. You, you've been known to push the limits a little bit. Are you, are you looking for trouble, or does trouble find you? Trouble knows exactly where I am. I have to not advertise about it. I started Peacock Groove because when I was getting into cycling, looking at custom builders, no one could do what I wanted. I remember running to Mr. as I refer to him as old man Chris Qualley, who talks like this, will be very upset if he sees this. But uh, I have nothing but respect for Chris. And when I asked him one day, I said, would you ever do like a flame paint job on a bike? No, never. And it occurred to me right then and there, each one of us have our own aesthetic, what we want our bikes to look like, a certain style. Richard Sachs has his own aesthetic, the way he finishes things. That's his. I don't want that. I respect it. I respect the man. But when I got into Peacock Groove, I said, I'm going to build the bikes that I want. And I bet you there's a few people that are going to agree with me. And there have been. I have probably 97% love and 3% hate. And the 3% hate, they don't know any better. They just put it out there. They don't know me. They haven't met me. They don't know that I've been building since 1993 that have constructed a shitload of bicycles, that have done consulting, that other people have national championships on bikes that say their name, but I built. But, like a good Friday night, I have a gag order and I can't talk about it. <laughs>